Supernatus. I believe last time round we had just gone to a church and at that church we found well, a strange cult that seemed to be running around there and uh, they are apparently somehow tied up in the mystery of this missing book. I feel like we need to learn more. Oh, hang on. We need to learn more about this. Uh, to do that, we need to go back into here. Oh, I think I need that. How did they even... Uh, when did you book me again? Where is my pointer? I need that key. I need to prepare for the. I need to prepare for the ceremony, so he's telling me I have to come back later. Okay. So yeah, this is some weird church that wants to take everyone's money. Feels like you know. Um, can I blow out this candle? Good. So the candle holder is there. Um, well, I wonder, can I do something interesting with that? Can I, like, blow the stuff out into the room? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's something plugged in here. So it looks like we can unplug. So we will unplug it. What else do we have here? Hmm, let's see. What do we have here? Oh, maybe that that key we took, we could get into that panel that wouldn't I don't think we'd opened before. The key fits. And we could open the panel. Hmm. So what do I need to do now? I feel like... Hmm. Okay, but can we plug in the... Ah! I can plug the fan there into the extension. So that will turn the fan on. I assume that's going to help me in some way. I think we need to put that key back. I feel some. When did you what was my date again? He's not very clever, is he? Well, right. Next yes. Sunday at seven. Next Sunday at 7. Let's put this key back. I need to Just in time. <laughs> Just in time. But now that we've opened that panel, we can kind of mess about with it a little bit. Hmm. Ring the bells. Ah. Marcus, it's Marcus. Marcus isn't here. We need to hide. Hmm. Can we go through there now? What are you doing? Sorry. I went to the wrong place. I think what I needed to do was distract him somehow. Oh, wait. Looks like we can do this again. You. Have you meddled with the bell? Oh, bugger. Right, go. Don't mess around. Go straight to your hiding place.
quickly. There we go. No. Goodness gracious. What's happening? He's just blown papers everywhere. Plenty of time. Oh, what's around? So the list for contacts and appointments, he hasn't hid it very well. Can I... Aha! If I document the list with the camera, that makes sense. Now, let's go over here. There's a door. Can we open this door? What does that do? Oh, made a mistake. Did I? I need to take pictures of that, actually, don't I? I wonder. I think I need to hide in that. Maybe. Okay. Yep. Ready, Master? Yeah. Got a technical glitch with the bell crashing? Yeah, we do. Ring the bell. Apparently. <laughs> All right. It's the usual story, really. I try to keep what you say in mind, but it's... What's he talking about? But you are? Difficult, uh, we have a shipment now and I can't help but ponder, you know? Okay. For how that stuff is being used, he keeps reassuring me that whatever those dictatorship mm -hmm. rules of goods is their responsibility. Is it and only theirs? If we didn't want people to be flipping, why the hell is that government and its faux orb that they don't faux orb? The first place? What's faux orb? Do you? They might. I doubt it, but they might. Who are you to say what they're hunting? <laughs> I have to say, Pastor, I'm really thankful for your support. And your sermons on sin and morality and all that. Does he sound interested? And I have been thinking what my father would have said, you know? He, he built that fishing company from scratch. If he would have known how it would end up, I really need to hear your comforting words. Anytime yeah. I won't steal any more of your precious time, Pastor. Good plan. Myself and repent from dust and ashes. Mm. Your dreams are good. Sorry? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so I'll take my leave then. Yes. Please do. See you next week, Pastor. He hasn't suspected anything. Good. Now let's also leave. Back out to the church hall. There we are. We've completed our infiltration of the church. Because I think we have. We took some pictures. Learned some information. Oh, what's this? An activist? Oh yeah, we always have to talk to them. Save the sea otters, please. Have a go through. Save the sea otters? Is that all she tells us about? What, what is it? A handwritten text on the back. Keep walking, call this number. Three signals, hang up, then meet me at the Iron Square. Okay. So I should probably go home then in that case. And phone this number. I guess. Oh, the TV's not got anything on it anymore. One. Two. Three. And click. And then it said to go to the Iron Square. Ah. 
Iron Square. Okay. And where are we going? The only place it looks like we can go is into Glens. So let's go there. Very uh, suspicious, isn't it? You know, she's like, no, you have to do this and this and jump through this hoop and that hoop and all these other hoops. Where is she, anyway? There she is. Excuse me. Yeah. Hey there. Hey there. Been trying to pick me up. I'm fixing to leave for some twenty minutes. Has he? Thought we had something going here. We were having a conversation. I'm guessing it was one sided. You were just spewing out lots of pseudo intellectual bad <laughs> and you think you're impressing me. Sounds about right. So why the hell did I just spend twenty minutes here? If I turned you down, not too sure about it. Fill your position. Oh, you could just as well stay. <laughs> you're just a stupid bitch. And that door. Was that your date or what? Prophetic. He's talking about himself, isn't he? No, I don't intend to. Am I too smart for you? Just because I was talking about difficult or pseudo intellectual stuff. It's a uh, pseudo, not suedo. Unless it's made of suede, in which case, yeah. Oh, I know. Rackham's razor. It's Occam's razor. The categorical imperative was uh, can't. Also the one who uh, said that he can't think what he wants to say. Of and yeah, like like in the sense that you think you're intelligent and you're actually not. No, we're just pointing out that you're an idiot, mate. <laughs> True. You're five minutes late. I'm five minutes late. Iron Square is out there. Yep. Yeah, it's freezing outside. So I made you here. And I was supposed to guess that, was I? Well, now I'm here. I mean, I did. I'm Anna. Or Solomon. So, how are the otters doing? No idea. She doesn't care about otters. I have to ask you. Are you investigating Jonathan Drake now, sir? What if I am? Should I have said yes? I don't know. So Sora hired you herself. Not surprising. Not particularly. I investigate his death myself. So oh, did I you? We could trade information. Why are you investigating his death? Yeah, what's your reason? Perhaps it's not the right sword to deal with suicide. Life insurance is different. Okay. Oh, that's right. Sarah no. Sarah just mentioned him. Yeah, she didn't mention a brother. That's interesting. I don't have any contacts. And contrary to Sarah, Patrick is rather interested in the established houses. Yeah, particularly Never the money. Treating his suicide taking place less than two years after the insurance was purchased. The police won't look into the case further. What with the authentic missing suicide... What would be... And his is he trying to suggest that other family members... Hey Patrick, why not me? But you're stuck in this. I am. Would... Kill him before the thing's over so that they can't get any life insurance money? Not particularly, no. Yeah, it's the life insurance isn't the issue. Maybe. I might, and if I do, I'm not going to tell you. Doubtful. This is the best place to find me. Okay. Okay, if you say so. And I also needed to talk to someone else, didn't I? That was an interesting conversation and all, but uh, I feel like we didn't really learn much there. And then she has a brother who's interested in life insurance. Hey, who wouldn't be? We go to Cooper Street to meet this guy again. He gave us the pictures. He gave us the camera for those pictures. Yep. Uh, taking the photos. The photos you wanted. Good. I really doubted you'd pull it off, but I'm glad I was wrong. I seldom am. But mm. it's 
It must be a terrible life being seldom wrong. Mm. Who do you work for? No, no. no worries, buddy. Okay. <laughs> I guess I can't ask him who he works for, but he did say about going to Fardo to a bunker. There's the bunker. The bunker that we need to go into. What's this information board say? This bunker is one of many in a network of military strategic sites constructed during the war. Blah, blah, blah. They were all emptied and sealed with concrete after World War II, but the bunkers remain landmarks on the islands. Although never used in combat, they were fully operational for several decades, used for storage, bomb shelters, and even anti-aircraft batteries, etc, etc. If these bunkers were so great, I wonder why Sweden never used them for, say, fighting the Nazis or something useful. Because, um, because they didn't. So what's this all about? An old sundial's imprinted on the cement slab under the snow. Okay. Hmm. I feel like we had a clue about that from this. First I wandered from what I walked with my cane from dusk till dawn. Cane being presumably the sundial. First I wandered from wonder to wonder, though all but one have gone asunder. One. Is that? I roamed with the Riders of the Revelation, what, four? Didn't stay for the damnation. Third, I helped an ancient hero with his tasks. Hercules had, was it seven labors? Lastly, I strolled from sea to sea, missing no note, losing no key. So it's seven seas. How many labors does Hercules have? Was it 12? So there were seven wonders of the world. All but one have gone asunder. Okay, wait a minute. That's seven, because it's seven wonders. Yeah? So then... Rise of the Revelation, but didn't stay for the damnation. That's four. Four horsemen of the apocalypse. Um, ancient hero with his task. I'm sure it was... Yeah, 12 labors of Hercules, wasn't it? The 12. And lastly, I strolled from sea to sea, missing no note, losing no key. See, that to me... Seven seas? From sea to sea, missing no note, losing no key. Eight? Maybe it could be eight. Um, let's try. An old sundial. Okay. So what do I do? I oh. oh, of course the cane. He said why cane. So the cane goes there. And then we want to point it to, well, seven first, which is that one. That. That's seven. A gear moved somewhere. Well, that's good. We want four next. What? Turn and right, cane around as much as we want. Let's not let it stay long enough for the click. It's okay there. I need to turn it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Ah! There. There we go. Four. Twelve. X I I. Twelve. And what did we say? Eight. Something heavy moved beneath me. Do you think that's the door opening? 
Let's see. Hey, I can walk down a sheer rock, sheer stone face, apparently. Turned out it wasn't filled with concrete, it was just a very thick door. Well, let's go down this hole and see what it does. Let's use this ladder carefully. Well, you I mean you could use the ladder carelessly if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, okay. Let's see what's under this rose. The hidden compartment is under the rose. And let's see what we got. So, a cassette tape and a bundle of documents titled Chapter 2. Looks like we're entering into some other fantasy world now. I'll put the poster back. Well, I guess we're going to read the book. Here we are. Dear Angar, Dear Angar he says. Since Vithar departed, and we have to prepare Angar and Vithar. The prospect of never again seeing such a heroic young man grieves me. But we have to be realistic. Before too long... It's just like that scene out of the life of Brian. Blessed are the... Meek. We're running out of evil oh, that's men, nice. Would you rather we became slaves to the Vindar? You know as well as I how direly we need that horn. They all need the horn, apparently. If I knew of other ways to withstand the it's a terrible Vindar, affliction. I would choose them. He's right. We need the horn. Anything okay. is preferable to succumbing to the Vindar. Within two weeks, we need a fix. Can open the Vindar. Oh, wait, that's the window. The sea for this noble cause. Peace with you, proud Angar. Don't you think old Mimir will be mad now that we're not attending his meeting? Probably. Ah, I know darn well what that meeting will result So who am I now? And I know I must comply. Are you sure? Maybe we could... Yeah, I am pretty sure. It was just luck. Just luck when I managed to make Vithar go before me without losing my face. Your face. Fool, that's what I draw next. <laughs> and I don't blame you. Hey, Fenrir, look there. Where? Where? The Look there! Someone's, Someone's in the water. Indeed. It's nobody from the village. Must be a spy. Oh, that's a but it's pretty good. Know how you can tell? A spy? Are you sure? She looks so we are the person who launched away from that dragon's cave, are we? Let us be on the safe side of things. Come to it. Okay, so here we are. What a serene landscape, she thought. I hope this is where my home is. Greetings, my good sir. Greetings, stranger. Pray, what is this land called? I fear, fear I am lost. Lost, you say? How very interesting. How so? Oh yeah, he's gonna use like a blow dart to knock me out. Lovely. Two guys using a blow dart to knock out some young girl. Nothing wrong with that at all, of course. Hmm. What a horrible couple of guys. What are you taking? Don't steal my stuff. Oh no. Oh, I'm going to prison. I could have shown them the horn. She could have given... No. I'm not continuing down that line. <laughs> she could have gone and given them the horn. As she slowly gained consciousness, without an S, her head ached splittingly. Sorry, I, I shouldn't keep pointing this kind of thing out. Ah, the spy is awake. You're not a spy, mate. Why is your face such a strange shape? Oh, be quiet. You are the spy. Who... Who are you? Who are you? Me? I am Wyatt, the Miller's son. What have you done to end up... Yeah, why are you in prison? I'm accused of stealing gold from the temple. Innocent, of course, and should be released soon. Should you? But no more talking now, Finrir spy. I know who has taught you tricks of mine to do some folk. Where, where exactly am I? In the old prison tower outside of Engsmark, of course, where you belong. That does not go. No, doesn't, does it? Not be my home. Nope. I fear you try to confuse me. I am too strong-willed to be affected by your mind games. Okay. I'll leave you alone, but let's see what's around. We've got some pebbles. I'll have some pebbles. Uh, maybe I can use them for something. Anything up there that we can 
Oh, there's a bird. Can I use it on that bird? Is it a bird? I'm assuming it's a bird because it's like flying. Does it appear again? Hit it. Did we hit it? Or not? Ah. Well, that's just porridge. Ah, I've got an idea. So if we can throw that at the bird and move that, we can drop whatever that was into his porridge. Ah, we were almost there. It's all these things where you have to quickly do something. A little fragment of devil's ivy landed in the porridge. That's what we were supposed to do. That's my porridge. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Uh, do you want to get out of here? Oh, I'm only here because of a misunderstanding. I will soon be Yeah, so you say, mate. <laughs> Are you really afraid of my powers? Sure you are. You sound afraid. Do you think my voice has that kind of power? Not over me, maybe, but over normal folk. I'm too strange. Too cunning. He's too cunning. You ended up in prison for something you apparently didn't do. But here, look, I can use my voice to control you. I can use my voice to control you. No, no, I shall resist. Do not get into my head. But I can give you an order. If you trick me into doing my bidding in the right place. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh no. I'm assuming the stuff that I just fed him. Power. Can I hide like down here? I can. What have we done with you? Well, that didn't work. But never mind, we shut and locked the door with that idiot inside, so it's fine. Hey, open the door at once. Nah. Evil witch, just you wait till Fenrir gets back. I'm not I'm not planning on waiting. Exactly. We're not waiting. See what they've got about in their bags and stuff. We searched through the backpack and found her knife and the ring from the boat, as well as the chunk of brimstone. She felt much more comfortable with her dagger close at hand. She promised herself not to be fooled into an ambush again. There's a bird. Crow. Anything useful on the table? She would eat the food had she not been stressed to get away from this place. There's a crow. The crow didn't object to Freya taking the message. Okay, so he dropped a message off for me. Let's see what the message says. Mimi, you're wasting no time. Wants to prepare the ritual with me. I won't get a chance to drop by the prison. Oh, what a shame that is. Tomorrow, I'll be a war hero. Take care of everything until I'm back. You must get rid of the prisoner. We never met her. She was never there. Your loyal fen friend. Fenrir. Well, not from them, at least, but, you know, best be careful. Oh, what have we got? We've got a goat and some sort of cottage. Let's have a look at that goat. Are you not fit for great tasks? No, it's not. It's a goat. Let's go in here. She knocked on the door. A deep but gentle voice asked her to enter. A rustic table, a handsome but weathered man was sharpening a scythe. Good morning. My name is Freya. I am sorry for intruding. Oh, do not worry. Can I help you? You look like you have gone through some rough times. Might have. Torgov, by the way. You could say that. I have. 
have no idea where I am. Just start walking. Yeah. Where you are? Just tell me where I am. You are just outside the village of Engmar, at the northern end of the Great Peninsula. This is my simple home, where I grow vegetables and fruit, which I sell in the village. Okay. Where do you come from, stranger? I don't know. I do not know. The people I have met so far have accused me of being a vendor. I should yeah. not know. How peculiar. Although most foreigners are met with suspicion here, and not seldom... Oh, Alright, so, you, so you, you don't like foreigners where you are. ...be a bit narrow-minded and extremely wary of outsiders. I prefer not to live right among... So you might say that you're an outsider too, then. You can trust me, though. Even if you turned out to be a Vindar, I would treat you just like a fellow human being. Ah, he's a good guy, this one. I just like to come home. Where the heart is. Why do you not sit down and eat while you tell me what has happened to you? I don't know. Oh, yes, thank you. Let's chat for a while. After I had escaped my captors, I came straight here. I see. Mm. Now, I think I can explain some things. Oh, here. please do. This part of the country is engaged What's he got in his hand? With is that a sword? Is the Vaskin Bane, inhabited by the Vindar. It is a okay. rather petty feud that nobody remembers the origin of, but the mutual hatred is fiery. Our village okay. elder, Mimir, is bent on defeating the Vindar, and has studied the scriptures to... Oh, well, see, that's his problem. He should be thinking outside the box. The golden horn, which should be blown at our holy shrine. So mm. a mighty They've got their horn. To let us crush the Vindar once and for all. He tracked the horn to the island of the dragon. The dragon <laughs> easily... The only person who could get it was me. Approaches. But let single adventurers ashore. Well, yeah, because it can't... So our villagers regularly... Kill all of them. Adventurers from the area at once. The golden horn. Mimir has done his best to convince people that this quest is very heroic. <laughs> necessary for our survival. But really, it's just a way of killing off a lot of people. He was just 19. Yeah, he's dead. Sorry to tell you, but he is. Close companion to Mimir and a member of a noble house. He's managed to avoid being sent to the dragon. Well, there's no dragon now. And now he has stolen the horn from you and pretended to have found it. As we speak, he is probably preparing a summoning ritual with Mimir. Yeah, sounds likely. I don't think so. Um. Do we know what will happen when he blows the horn? Well, nobody knows. True, a war spirit will help the wielder of the horn to defeat his enemy. I imagine the cold war turning hot and bloody. Yeah. Does this not worry you? Yes. Even if there's not really a spirit. I do not care that much. With Mimir as a chief, our village was doomed either way. Fair enough. Won't mean much to you right now, will it? If you don't know that you're from there. Cold War was bad enough, but this will be something different altogether. Can Fenrir be stopped somehow? Well, I mm. think they will blow the horn by tonight, so there is time to try to stop it. Well, if it even does anything. Prevent a bloody war, I will do this. I have no other purpose in life right now, and finding my home will be easier without a war raging. That is true. Yeah, is it Vithar's? I found it in a boat that was moored at the island. If Vithar was the last adventure, yeah, he might very well have been. By the gods, it must be his ring. Oh, my heart. Now, I don't know if he's being honest. You see, as he reached the neutral port of Aberheim, he sent me a letter. By then, he was just days away from the island. Okay. In the letter, he wrote about a girl he met there. He was only there for two What, he married her while he was there? For the bad weather to pass. He and this girl exchanged rings, and they promised to meet again after he had... Oh, it was easy for her. She got a ring out of it. He never made it back. Her heart must be broken. Mm. Do not sell it. You can hold on to that ring. If you ever stop by the port... I'll see if I can find the girl, yeah. You can find the girl and return it to her. I think her name was Ithan. Ithan. I don't know what happened to Vithar, so she does not think he simply forgot about her. Very well. Take Good plan. Hmm... Should I be worried for my own safety? Well, both Wild and Skirt consider you a Vindar spy, and when they get out of the prison, they will start hunting you again. Probably, yeah, but they're not going to get out until someone unlocks them, so... Fenrir tells them to. I didn't know that they were using the old prison as a secret base. They must be using a path on the other side of the hill. We need to dispose There's a path on the other side of the hill? Fenrir comes back to let him out. Your survival depends on it. 
They plan to kill me, so I have no remorse. Yeah, I'm not interested. Good. Bird has never done anything good for the village. Sounds likely. Uh, okay. You can stay here for as long as you like. I will tell the villagers that you are my guest. She's my guest. She's definitely not a Vindar. Not a Vindar, guys. Come on, she's not a Vindar. Nobody goes near us these days. Yeah, hopefully. Anything in here that we can have? Take a bucket. Buckets are always useful. Well, it's nice to meet this guy and everything. But I feel like there's other stuff we could be doing. Uh, like milking a goat. The goat did not object to being milked. So which way to the village? The village of Angmar, one mile to the west. Your prison is up that hill. So Angmar is this way, is it? Well, let's go and visit it then. Wait, is this the village? This is a watchtower. Oh, there we go. If we go up there, we go to the village. Okay. Sounds good. So this is the village? No, where are you going? Oh, there's a guard there. Let's have a chat with him. He's quite far away, but... Good morning, my good sir. Good morning, my good sir. What is your business here? Uh, I'm a guest of Torgav. But it does happen. I mean, if it's rare, that means it doesn't never happen. Well, all for no reason to treat me well. Exactly. <laughs> the Angar do not treat strangers well until they have themselves <laughs> It's probably fair if there's, like, some kind of war going on, you know. I am Olaf, and I guard this place. I guess that, because you're sitting next to it. Is the passage to the mountain flat. So that's where they'd be going. I don't want to ask him too many questions in case he thinks I'm a spy. Uh, there's an inn. You can, you can always learn things at an inn. That's what I say. Well, if they want to talk to us. Who says that? I, Freya, guest of Torgav's, wish you a good morning. Yeah, don't play too hard on that Torgav's guest thing. That's more than you can say about Torgav himself. How can I help you? What's the latest news? news? What news? You are an innkeeper. Are you not supposed to know the Careful by asking for gossip now. From abroad? The word from the road? No, stranger. I've had one or two patrons a day, and they've had the same news for oh, what's that? I suppose where you come from, the inns are bustling with activity and rumours. This is a hellhole. The only thing that <laughs> changes here is when the ebb turns. Does it not? Um, Do you know how I can should I be asking this question? The holy mountain shrine? Yes, that's it. I seem to be near and Fenrir went up there to prepare an important ritual. So it's likely closed up. Is it? You can probably visit it tomorrow again. All right. Goodbye. Till I meet. Goodbye for now. I, w I wonder, maybe we should ask that guard some questions, because he didn't seem overly fussed about me asking questions, did he? So, I just feel like some of these questions might be... Where can I find Mimi? She is up by the shrine. They are preparing an important... Oh, they can't be disturbed. Okay. And have you seen Fenrir? Fenrir is accompanying Mimir at the shrine. So they're both at the shrine, then. As we expected. Can I visit the shrine? No, only in the company of Mimir can he go there. He does not wish to be disturbed. So nobody can enter that gate? No. no not unless you have a special delivery for Mimir. Are there any okay. special gates Franz about? Well, I am expecting Jonner to bring them some special ingredients. Jonner? Thank you for your time. Yeah. Okay, so we found out about somebody called Jonar. I wonder if he could tell me where Jonar is. Good morning, innkeeper. 
so how can I help you? Well, I'm looking for Jonar. Everyone pronounces it differently, apparently. Where can I find the Jonar? Beside the tower is the scriptorium. He should be there. The scriptorium. Okay. Till I meet. Till I meet you again, or till we meet again. I mean, either option, I suppose, is is friendly. Next to the tower. So is that going to be this one? Mm. Oh, he's Jonar. What can I do for you, Fraser? Fraser, why are you calling me Fraser? Did I say I was called Fraser? What do you do here? This is the scriptorium of the. It's Freya, not Fraser. Representative of the gods. It's not a psychiatrist from Seattle. What can you tell me about the holy shrine? Or is it? Something about tossed salads and scrambled eggs. Oh. Only I may go there. Oh, maybe I could get it for you. Oh, you're a second level disciple, are you? It only took you years to learn to be the second level. What are the teachings about? Okay. It makes us mentally strong and able to leave this temple. Does it? Or does it teach you to treat people badly? So your holy order are the leaders of the Umbar because yeah. you're the most learned. Not As was often the case. But intelligent, sharp observers. Yeah. Ankhmark needs strong leaders. If then do you think you're one? The Vindar, he sounds a bit naive, doesn't he? Yeah, goodbye. What's this note? She saw a note on the table. Well, let's look at it. The note said, Scales of Basilisk, Milk of Capricornus. Tooth of Sphinx, we have Milk of Capricornus. Milk of Capricornus, it wasn't crossed out. No, no. But I've got your goat's milk, mate. See you later. Well, I'm assuming it's goat's milk. Maybe he can... Maybe he could clarify that for me. Good morning, gamekeeper. So, how can I help you? Uh, you could tell me about milk of Capricornus. Milk of Capricornus. The milk of a Capricorn. I have heard about it. Have you? It's supposed to be brown and reek of hell. Why do you want? Also, oh, it's not just goat's milk. It's just curious. What is it used for? Magic, I would guess. So it's used for rituals. Uh, okay. So, well, we got the milk from Torgav's cottage area, so let's just go to Torgav's. Maybe we can make milk of Capricornus. I'm just looking to see... No, see, with some of these games you can double-click and it'll jump you to the next screen. But in this one you can't. Maybe we just need to add some vegetables to the to the because I noticed he had a lot of vegetables there. He's got vegetables. She would only carry one vegetable at a time. Okay, so we need stuff to put inside. the milk. Let's try some beetroot. That turns the milk red. What else can we get? Let's have some deep berries. I'm just trying to make the milk... Well, it needs to be brown, did it say? So... 
really the ideal option would be I don't know just take a round route oh yeah that's like a that's an onion it's brown milk it was dyed brown there we go so we've turned the milk brown so now that we've turned the milk brown as they were saying I can bring it back Gonna look at this watchtower first. An unmanned watchtower on the beach and a bell that you could use if you wanted. What else have we got here? Is oh, that like a smoking thing? Fish smoker. Spreading a nice smell of fish. Maybe we can do something with that. Where's my brimstone? We need to use fire and brimstone. There we go. And now we want to put the milk in there so that it gets a nasty smell. You know. Because then we'll have some really... Right. The milk now reeks of brimstone. That's what we want. We want... Nasty milk that stinks of brimstone. And now if we go to Jonar. We could say we found his ingredient that he was looking for. I think. And maybe he'll be thankful. Let's find out. Yeah, greetings. Frasier? I don't need to talk to him, I just need to show him this. I think. Oh no, wait. Uh, what do I want to ask him? I kind of think I want to ask him. Hmm. Yeah, what are your teachings about? We, we we read this already. He's very clever, but we've seen this already. Um. I'm just gonna go through everything just to see if there's anything we've missed. Just skipping the conversation, just to make sure that we didn't miss anything. Goodbye. I wonder, do we... Can't give that to him. He says he's really intelligent though, doesn't he? The collective wisdom of... Have I missed something here? I, must. Goodbye. I wonder if there's something conversationally that I'm missing. Let's see something. A big niche holding a strange contraption. Oh, these are like... Ah, so this is some kind of puzzle. This is some kind of puzzle that presumably would allow us to get in. Which we need to learn from Jonar. I wonder... Greetings. What can I... Hmm. I must. Goodbye. There must be something else I've missed. I feel like obviously I need to go to him and obviously he's the one that needs to give me access. Let's chat to the innkeeper. Good morning, dear. So. Hey, tell me about the lock on the gate. Oh, that thing. Only some people know how yeah, I'm guessing Jonar's one of them. The shrine is open for the public and the gate is open. So the rest of us need not worry about that. 
Okay. I've heard there are riddles you need to memorize in order to open it. Riddles? So you did have some riddles for me. <laughs> I did, did I not? You did. Goodbye. 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 You might not meet me again, or if you do, I might be in chains, because I think I'm about to do something very silly. Now let's chat to old Jonar again. Are you really that clever? Excuse me? You said the teaching. Yeah, are you really that clever? I am interested just how clever you are. I happen to be pretty intelligent. Yeah. I really do not have time to administer some kind of writ of Maybe okay. come up Quick with test then. Way to test it. I I suppose testing my wits should not be so difficult for someone with some power. Just come Yeah, up ask me anything. Yeah, if you're so if you're so intelligent. Oh, I know. Here is a riddle for you. If I am yours, you must keep me. Give me to others, and I will die. Goodbye. Yes. <laughs> Can you solve it? Mm, too hard. Do you have another one? An easier? It wasn't that hard, was it? It was a secret. I have one head, one Surely. Foot, and four legs. What am I? A bed. Not so bad, right? I did not know you could play this. Do you have something else? Very well. Here is a good one. I followed you to the bedrock. I led the way there. I kept you company for a time, but not until I died could you trace me. It was too soon. Candle. One last chance, please. Fine. But this is the last I've not answered any of his riddles. He'd be like, what? The one who built me does not want me. The one who buys me does not need me. The one who needs me does not need me. So, have you got any answers? That coffin. Looks like you were much more clever than me. But I'm assuming those riddles have something to do with that gate. So I'll be on my way to the gate, thanks. So, a secret. Oh, hang on. How do I move this? Right, so how do I move it? I don't understand what I'm doing here. Ah. Only... Wait, I'm so confused. Oh, wait. I oh, know I get it. What is that? Is that a bed? It could be. No, that's a bed. What did I say? A bed, candle, and a coffin. That's a coffin. Sounded like some cogs turned inside. The gate was unlocked. Let me see. I know what you need. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much. If it turns out you have tricked me, well then, by God. Sure. Why not? I opened the gate and entered a long and winding tunnel through the mountain. It was dark, and at times the tunnel branched off in several directions. After two hours, she reached a chamber lit up by odd emeralds and a singular ray of light. Oh, look. Let's read the book, because that's what we came for, I guess. Here's a book on how to read some kind of demonic language. So that's a one. That's a two. It'd be great, except the pixel art's a little bit unreal. <laughs> that's like a curved thing's three. That's like a thing curved up there. That's four. A little circle, five. Uh, yeah, six. It's like back-to-back -back L's. It's like a J with a line sticking out of it, is it? A line. It's like a K but with a line in the middle. Nine. And that's like a curved thing on the top with a line going diagonally to the right, which is zero. Well, okay then. Let's go through this door. 
and met by the sheen of the setting sun. Oh, and chapter two's finished, just as it started to get exciting. Anything else around here we can have? We've got a sack. That'll be useful. There's some drawers here. That one's usable. Anything in the drawer? What did I get there? Didn't tell me what I had. A can of mace. And what else is down here? Oh, those are some of those runes. So... Hmm... What was that? Six. Wait, go back. One. That was two. And the circle was five. I'm assuming that's the code I need to get through here. That appeared to be the correct code. Okay. What did that do? so confused. Oh, there's a vent here. Can we do anything with that? Wait, what did I get there? I got a fan panel. Hmm. Oh, I got some cables. Switch the cables round. What exactly is that going to do for us? Oh, I wonder. Could we use this to mess around with the air that's coming out? Probably. Okay, I see what we're doing here. And if I put that f panel back on there, Then that's going to blow Mace right into whatever room they're next to. So, was there something I could do here? Was there not, like, things I could switch on or something there? I'll toggle the only switch with a label on it for ventilation. Fan started. Should I turn it off? Or just go? I can hear footsteps walking away hurriedly. I've made someone leave their duty. So yeah, there was someone on the other side. Wham! The ventilation must have created a draft that slammed the back door shut. If I can't open the door to the right, I'm probably quite trapped here. Well, let's find out. Hopefully we can open the door to the right then in that case. Awesome. Let's go. Atreus, are you there? Respond immediately. He's gone. He ran away. Someone's in trouble. And me too, if I don't get out of here quickly, I'll be trapped like a rat. What have we got here? We've got some tape on top of a box. Now, duct tape's always useful. So, never forget to take duct tape. What else have we got? Some documents, a folder. Let's see what's in the folder. Operation Good Samaritan. I don't want to leave empty handed. I'll replace the documents inside with some other papers, hoping it'll take some time before someone notices it. Maybe we can use those papers. Lots of shopping lists, receipts, and notes. I don't have the time to go through them now. And they're all using code words. Interesting, there's a folder here with the title Operation Good Samaritan. Great. So is that the. Papers are titled Operation Good Samaritan. Let's take a look. As far as I understand, these documents outline something called Operation... Yeah, you've said that. Which is basically about bringing an agent to bribe extremist warlords in certain third world regions. The intention is to escalate the conflict and get them to buy Swedish weapons. Okay. Seems Wyvern Experts has gone rogue here, because even Fosorb is being kept in the dark. Good Samaritan part is probably some kind of dark irony. Right, oh. 
Well, we have to get out of here. This looks like a crate big enough to get into. Weapon parts. Can we take a picture of those? Or did the camera go? Yeah, the camera got taken off us, so... Uh, but maybe... Maybe we can pick them up with this crane. I don't know. Is that it? We can take this weapon part out. Can we, can we? Don't really see how we're supposed to pick it up. Is it like that? I don't really see how I pick it up though. I have to move the hook 15 clicks to the right and 3 clicks up. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Footsteps approaching in the corridor. I need to hurry now. Well, there we go. What am I supposed to do here? Well, I have an idea. I know what I need to do. Wait, what? I didn't discover the weapon when they arrived and searched through the crate. Unless... Didn't lift that high enough, I don't think. Um, oh, I think I get what I'm supposed to do. What the? Damn! Okay, so I need to... Right, we've got to do everything quickly now. Let's take this tape. I think I want to be level with that. Uh, take this. I didn't pick the stuff up yet. Inventory meta items added. Okay, let's go here. 25 clicks to the left, 35 clicks down. That's a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, I think we need to get it to be with that where that girder is. Which is about there. Okay, and now if I take the tape and put it on there, go over here because I need to get straight in this crate. What in the world? And he notices us straight away. Okay, let's try this again. I think that's what we need to do. Maybe we need to sit it on top of that thing. Is that what we need to do, do you think? I just don't know. So we need these documents. This is quite frustrating, actually. 
got all their new inventory items. Okay, go over here. So what was it? It was 25 to the left. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 5, 2, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, 3, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let me just see. Three to the right, none up. Okay. Right, there we go. Now, do I need to sit it on top of that, maybe? I just don't know. I just... You've obviously got to get this in the, ex the exact right place. Well, this time he's doing it. The weapon slid off and bumped into the girder. And we got out. Here we go. Footsteps are approaching. There's a little gap between the crate and its lid. I can peek out. All right, let's load on that last crate. And I'll sort out some more paperwork. Okay. And then I'll have a proper chat with the security officer. Oh, that disappeared and ran away. Off we go then. Oh, where are we? Are we being loaded onto a boat? Or are we going into this wyvern place? I feel like we're going into this. No, I think we're going on that ship. Yep, looks like we're going on the ship, guys. At least we were lowered in nicely. Could be a lot worse. Crate's being lowered into our cargo room. Hold it. Someone screwed up here. How's that? Let's check that crate. Wait, what? Now they did find it, but the part wasn't even packed. Good. Probably can't force me out here, but if I could somehow prevent being trapped, I could at least try to sneak out. Can I? Uh. Oops. I think I need to use this tape. Yay, there we go. I never locked it properly. Go in the hall. And then up these stairs. I am going upstairs and get some fresh air. Get her out of here, Captain. Hopefully if we stay there. There we go. And let's go in here. Good, go inside. Um, any keys or, oh, should always search pockets for keys and things because they are always very useful. And maybe there's something in the pocket of this luggage too. Half a dozen passports from various countries, some of them have different names, so they're, they're obviously fake. Take a closer look at the Swedish one. Jonas Sebastian Alm, Swedish. 2nd of July, 1954, from Stockholm. Okay. I think the ship's departing. I need to hurry up. Can we get out the window? We just have to jump in the water. Nothing else to it. This is really dangerous. A couple of minutes in water this cold is all you can take. I swim well. I was raised at the sea, but the cold is making my limbs go numb. Maybe I should have found another way to leave the ship. Tell me I'm not dead. The coast is quite pretty from here. 
Okay, can we go somewhere? Is that somebody that can rescue me? Fardo Ferry, it's seen me. Saved by the five o'clock ferry. I'm causing quite a scene. As they drive me out of the freezing water, I decided to go back to Bergwall's cabin to get dry and warm. Oh, look, Sarah's here. This person that I'm not sure is, uh... I fell in the water. Little fell in the water. Well, you know, it's not just the book, though. Sounds like there might be some dodginess going on with these guys. Is this not the book, by the way? Is this not the book? I mean, like, these two chapters of the book. There's something about a dragon and a golden horn. Not much. Telescope, maybe. I just want to make sure I don't throw away anything important. Veronica's going to come and help me inventory all this later tonight. Is she? No, okay. As much as possible. You? Yes. Don't ask me why. I just know we need to. Hmm. I just hope you don't get rid of all this stuff before I've solved the mystery of this book. They might have to. You're still free to keep what you want, but you should probably hurry. I can't bear the burden of my father's remnants much longer. Why? You're lying your clothes and get them as dry as possible. You probably have a lot to do. Probably I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's probably best. Probably best. Let's, get going now. Let's do it. Two hours of ringing and ironing later, I'm dressed. And now I'm out of here. See you later. Let's go to the port. Oh. Let's go to the port. See what we can see what we can learn. Yeah, we want to go to Fardo Port. Oh, there's a convenience store. There's a door I can use. I don't have to go through the window. Amazing. I need to have a quick chat with him. Hello there. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Can I ask you a question about Bergval? Your diving courses are rather famous. Among who? My diving courses are rather famous. So you say. So everything then. Oh, was it? Those are interesting things to talk about sometimes. Um, what else can we can we talk about? Was he murdered? Drowned himself. Did he? So it was an accident, not a suicide. No, you're telling me it now, though. Maybe they're not. Yeah, maybe they're not interested in the thing their father died in. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Did they? Because you're a diver, maybe? I'd really like to see that note. Yeah, that doesn't necessarily mean that he did what people think he did. <laughs> Pretty stupid, if you ask me. How's he going to make any money out of it? Maybe he faked his death. Not really. By kind of, that's what we mean. We mean not really. 
Just let me know when you're ready to go. Okay, well that's good. Yes, we bought a boat. Okay, so that's all he's going to tell me about the boat. My pleasure. My pleasure, mate, he says. I don't know, should I ask him to take okay. me to the boat? What? Sure, I, can I can give you a tr I can give you a hand, I guess. Well, how far have you got? You've only solved two words? Apparently so. Okay, you just need to give it to me, and he has. Take a day to solve. All right, I've solved everything but one word. Just one word left. Okay, so we need to find one more word. It's about a Jonathan Bergwald detective. Not exactly my cup of tea. Something there. Maybe, um... Maybe... Maybe we can learn something elsewhere. He said it's got we've got an hour to discover the final word. It's interesting. I imagine I'm in a time limit on doing a crossword. Uh, let's try here. In this place, because it was full of all sorts of interesting stuff. Maybe there are people there that know things, or maybe there's someone that was doing the crossword. He might sit on a sofa. <laughs> Try it being eaten alive. So very relaxing. My back is rapidly dying. Oh, there's some coins. Let's take the coins then. Oh, he's trying to put money in the jukebox, isn't he? Let's go give these coins to him. Maybe then he'll change the music to something far less uh, depressing. Yeah. That's what we want. Some heavier rock. Oh, look, that guy's run away and he's got a book. Death Awaits, a thriller about young Kent Vickland, Bergval's master detective. Bet it's a real page turner. Oh, yeah, it's. Is it Vickland then? That's it. The crossword's solved. So let's go back. We can get this convenience store guy to give us his, uh, to let us see the boat. Now that we know the final uh, clue. Back to the ferry port. And back to the store, making sure we go in through the door rather than the windows. Because that's important. So now we can tell him that we've solved his little crossword. And can he please show us this boat? Hello there. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Ask about the boat. Close that. Okay, so I'll show him the completed crossword instead. Doubtful. All that for an outboard motor. So, how about showing me that boat now that you said you would show me? Good. Let's go to Bergval's boat. Excuse me, sec. I will. The wooden one closest to the entrance. Take my time. I'm not interested yet. Are they the kind of fishing trips where you bang someone on the head and knock them in the water? Lock doors before leaving. Does this have anything else on it? No, the boathouse, that's all. Just It's the note from the boathouse. 
There's a stick in a pot of paint. Can I take the stick? Or am I just going to stand near it? Can I always use some wood? I'll tell you, the innuendo in this game is just... Woo. What else have we got here? A burner. Oh, can we... Char the stick. Oh, and then I can... Yeah. Because if I... That's his boat. See if the police have missed something. Considering this is a suicide case, they probably haven't been too meticulous. What might this be? Some scratches. Some scratches. Yeah, a bit of paper. On the scratches. Bit of charcoal burned stick. And scrape out the message. And what does it say? Create a carbon copy of the scratches found on Jonathan's boat. And I still don't know what it says. <laughs> Mac -san -sa make sandwiches? I can't really tell what that says. Can I? Max Saws. Curious. Can okay, I turn that off? Because I don't really like leaving an open flame in somebody's house. There we go. Now I'm going to leave. Because I feel like that was all we really needed to know. Hey, I'm ready to leave. All right. If you're looking for a newer boat, thank you. I'll consider it. I don't need a boat at all. Oh, what have we got now? Boathouse. Cabin. Bunker. Port. I don't think there's anything for us to do in Fardo, but maybe... Fargal State. Cooper Street, we can go to Ord's house. Hmm. Ow. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to Fardo actually and speak to people. Now that we've learned a little bit more who Max is, is what I want to know, but we need to ask around about things, about the boat and the, all that kind of stuff. He got back fast. He did. Maybe he just left me there. Maybe there's some kind of conspiracy that he's involved in. Can I ask you about Jonathan's boat? Do you know anyone? I think Anita has a neighbor called Max. Anita has a member called Maximilian. Anita. Oh, that's the lady serving coffee in the church hall. Is it? Oh, okay. Thank you. I guess I'll talk to Anita then to see who Max is. Yeah, whatever. I'm not sure it is his pleasure, you know. I think he's involved in some of these conspiracies that are going on. Can we go in here or not? There we go. Let's chat with her. Hopefully she doesn't walk away before we get to her. Hi there. Hello. Hello. Can I ask you about uh, Jonathan's boat? All sorts of strange accents that people have. Can you tell me about him? Yeah, anything he's useful? He comes here once in a while and takes pictures of the archipelago. Does he? I think he's left the island for school. All right. Any idea where I can find him? Uh, yeah, I'd just like to talk to him. But he's showing some of his pictures at a posh restaurant down by the Red Rock. It's impressive that someone so old. The Red Rock. Hmm. Or maybe he gets someone else to do it for him. Oh. Are they admirable? Or are they just pretty basic? I'm welcome again. Apparently I've been welcome repeatedly. It's okay. Red Rock, she said. Let's see what Maximilian can tell us, if he'll tell us anything. Red Rock. There's some graffiti there. There's a truck on the bridge. Oh, the sea cat. What's that? What do we have here? What's this photo? A boat in the distance here. I can't make out the faces. Signed by a certain Maximilian Hjortland. 
can't see anything special with this one though. Okay, so the only one that's interesting is that one. A boat in the distance, but I can't make out the faces. Hmm. Yeah, let's turn up the heat. Ah, maybe we can... Hmm. Oh, I have to time it right opening the door. Time what right? Oh, created a draft. And because of that, we found a prism. Is that going to help us? Temperature's going to come back up soon enough. Well, prism might help us see things a bit closer if it's, you know, if it's like um, magnifying something. We have a woman. And that's Jonathan sitting in the boat. And with him is, that must be Veronica, the private nurse. She was in the boat with Jonathan the day he died. Was she now? Well, that's interesting. Um... Right, well, we've got some information also to pass to Jorgen, that guy, the journalist guy, or whatever he is. I don't know what he is. Can I ask you about, what was it? It was... Um... No worries. Wait a minute. Did I take that stuff? Maybe if I take a look at these first. That's the problem, because I never actually read them. He'll be interested in that. There we go. Ask him about that. Because that's something he was wanting to learn, wasn't it? Yeah. Could you? Yeah, because, yeah, they had a lot of nasty weapons in there. I trust he can. Not a lot. Just as good to stop bad people from doing bad things at the same time, you know? Okay, so now we can talk to the... Um, I reckon we should talk to this activist woman, if that's really what she is. Because she had some information she wanted to know as well. Let's chat to her, tell her. Excuse me. Hi there. Hi, Lord. Hi. I think I have something to discuss. Veronica was in the boat with Jonathan. It does. Well, yeah. She helped me with the case. I guess I owe you this piece. Yeah, pass me some information. I'm always interested in information. Let me check the address. Who does? East Harbor Street, 14. Flat number 71. Thank you. I'll contact Wait, who's this? Glad I can help. I guess Veronica's really in trouble now. Okay. Well, let's go and visit this place, whatever it is. I guess. Oh, it's the brother, Patrick, or whatever. Where does he live? Patrick's flat. Number 71. Did I not have a key? Yeah, that was that key that I found. Imagine that, I found that key. And it opens his door. If this is the key to Patrick's flat, then it must have been Patrick on board the wyvern. Well, that's interesting. Patrick's temporary flat is fancy, but desolate. Let's see what we can find. Oh, there's some drawers here. 
Struck lucky immediately. Only thing in this drawer is a bundle of documents titled Chapter 3. Isn't that exciting? Um... Wait, what? Oh, okay, he got tased. Done, then. He's probably off Don't tase me, bro. Take what you need. We need to bail. I'm pretty sure he's not alone. I... Okay. I'm confused what she's doing. Is she really on his side? Chop, chop. I'll keep the guard outside. Hurry up with whatever... Well, I think that's all I needed to do. I just needed chapter three. And then to get the heck out of here. There we go, now we can leave. And then when we get home... <coughs> oh, we're coughing. You go ahead and swear. If Patrick has come... He never saw me. I can pretend I just came to visit him. Are you sure? Yeah, just do as... Do as I say, said. Patrick's seen you. Patrick has seen you now, but he probably has no idea who you Doesn't are. know who I am. If he wakes up, I can stall him for some time. But you need to get the hell out of here. Yeah. Right. Yeah, all right. I'm not going to disagree with that. I'm just going to leave. Hey, I'm doing this as quickly as I can. Okay, well, get in the get in the elevator then. There we go. Okay, well, let's go to our house then, I guess, and let's read chapter three. So, can we go through the door? Oh, here we are. What are we looking at? There's a spyglass there. Let's have that. Maybe we can use that to see what they're summoning. Can we? It's a dragon. That's the other dragon. It's the other dragon. By the gods, she thought, as Samita's daughter scanning the ocean, surely seeking to avenge her mother. She doubted Fenrir and Mimir had seen the dragonling. They would hardly dare proceed with the ritual if they had. Do you think? Maybe they'd think that was their... Maybe we can start like a fire of some kind. I reckon. That'll scare them off. That'll stop them doing it. Oh, smoke signals for the dragon. Smoke signals for the dragon, boys and girls. Here comes the dragon to eat them all up. Hey, you there. Too late. See you later, buddy. You stole my horn. Hey, I got your uh, goat milk. Yeah. Oh, no, you're not. It would be quite a spectacle. Would it? We have come to prevent you from performing the ritual. Yeah. This disruption annoys me. Child, step back and do not bother us more. Yeah, I won't be bothering you too much more. Threw me in a dungeon to perish. And now you're going to start a terrible war. Hmm. As they spoke, Freya could see the dragonling draw ever nearer. You see this horn? This horn belongs to me now. No, oh, finders keepers, is it? Hold its beauty. Dragonling, get him. He stole your mother's treasure and slew her. Get him. Yeah. Nah, dinner. By the great snake, what? Who are you? I am Freya, commander of the dragons. <laughs> commander of the dragons. Settle down. Yeah, get lost. Sling your hook. The dragons is menu. Thank you for sparing my life. That's the way she said it. Thank you for sparing my life. One day later. And the whole town is already different. It's like they've lifted a spell. I'm glad to hear it. We will open the borders and start trading with other people again. 
and we will never sacrifice our young to hunt and keep it. Well, yeah, because you don't need to anymore. You now know that the horn is useless other than to summon dragons. I mean, it would have found its way there eventually, but we just uh, helped it a little bit. Just helped it on its way. He drew her to him, and after a long embrace, she realized what she'd been wanting all the time. A hymn. She sighed in delight as his hands started to slowly caress her. And that's the right time for that story to end. <laughs> Thanks. Young, perfect skin. She sighed with, what the hell? All the time I pictured Torgav as a younger Jonathan, and Freya as a younger Sor Sarah, so this is... This... I can't possibly read any more of this. I had a feeling Jonathan had some issues, but never in my life did I expect this. This is absolutely wow. Jeez. Let's get out of here. Let's leave this in his... Let's leave this in his house. And leave this whole sorry situation behind. Once and for all. She just wanted the book to be gone so we didn't find out about anything. She left a note behind. This is why she doesn't want to remember her father. I'm meeting Veronica at the harbour. We'll be back at around 9pm. Sarah, that's some half an hour from now. We must have just missed her. It doesn't feel good that Sarah is to meet with Veronica when I don't know Veronica's motives. I should try to intercept the meeting. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, hey. What? I just happened to pop in. I thought Sarah was going to be. Yeah. You must have missed it. I had to ask the villagers who were here. Did you? Everyone here knows where the bird walk is. Yeah, I think you did too, to be honest. Be here any minute. And we can begin sorting things. Soon. Yeah. I just read the story just now. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't to her. It was some fool with calling sheep. To answer your question, no, that's not the disadvantage of living here. It's more of a pattern. So did she kill him because of that? So you know the backstory. One day, Signal, Sarah's mother, had a moment of clarity. Relative clarity, that is. Right? Hmm. Like a bolt out of a blue sky. Right, so he was... God doing horrible things to his daughter. Or is she telling the truth? I don't know. Eventually she forgot. This is a, that's a pretty brutal and, not brutal, well, twisted ending, isn't it? Remember, not every ending's happy. Yeah, but, you know. Hmm. Photos of you in the boat with Jonathan Birdwall the day he died. But are you going to tell anyone? That's impossible. Unlikely, but not impossible. Someone happened to take. They were from a long way away. I've seen them on the deck. But nobody would notice. I had no anyway, unless I told them, and I'm not going to tell them. Yeah. That was the secret she'd keep for me. What do you... Sorry, Dorothy. I yeah, I should come clean now. I'm not Sarah's boyfriend. She hired me. Yeah. <laughs> this is all so weird. Hired you to sort out the books and all that crap Jonathan pulled? Hired me to find the book, yeah. To be honest, I don't really know why she thought of me being her boyfriend would be what she did. No idea. Oh. Pardon? Wait a minute, what? I've just been roped into a relationship. That gives her a sense of normalcy, I guess. Having a boyfriend around when you're pregnant. <laughs> I'm sorry you were deceived. No one is. Back at Jonathan's house. Yeah. confided in me. But I knew that her memories of her father had been long suppressed. This just got depressing, didn't it? Hmm. Well, now it's my turn. Yeah. You can hand me in when you're ready, and you tell Sarah the truth. You know what yeah. I think of you. I'll take responsibility for what I've done. I'm sorry. I could. I've always assumed you were were probably looking for me. Well, he did look for me. Yeah, at the time I didn't realize that he was. 
Good. Sure, I'll tell him that. Let me know if there's anything. She's gone. I have the chance now to hide the truth from Sarah. I should take it before I go and search for her. Why should I do that? Stick the book here. Maybe I can edit the ending before I show it to her. <laughs> can we? What, what exactly did I do? Well, let's go out and see. Let's go out and see. I told you I have no idea where he is. Where who is? Just hang around until he shows up then. Who? And pick someone smarter next time to run your errands. This guy was dead easy to track down. Was I? What do you want from him? He hasn't done it. Oh, come on. He's infiltrated Wyvern, stole my passport, then broke into my apartment huh? and stole father's books. He even snuck near the church and pretended We don't have to get into that now. Yeah, we do. I think we can let someone like him be on the loose. Why? Besides, if you had him steal father's book for you, I reckon you'd just burn it. Yeah, it's probably a good Why idea. I burn it so only you can access the inheritance? <laughs> yeah, that's oh, not silly sister. No. Never a hidden inheritance. I can tell you what's in the Yeah, the books. Yeah. That Telling you about your memories. There he is. Hold up, don't, don't shoot me. Ah, uh, this is cheap. Sarah hired him to find father's book, and now that he's read it, she doesn't want her to know. They can both yeah. you like this, sister. But father only wrote the book, so... Hey! Oh, no! Okay. You fucking shot him. It's my nerve. So it's, uh... It's really depressing, because now I'm going to die at the end of the game. Ah-ha-ha! The police came. That one's trying to get away. Carson, get him. But I have been shot. I've never been shot before, so neither have I. I guess your last moments last forever, seeing how nothing can follow... Either that or I'm simply not dying. It's rare getting the opportunity to alter the past. I think Sarah's finding the book now. It's alright Sarah, you can read it now. Freya left Torgav's cottage and with Mimir's bands now lifted, she could acquire a boat. She felt at home on the sea and effortlessly, effortlessly made her way to Avaheim, determined to find the owner of the ring, Ithan, Vithar's lover. A strong sense of familiarity struck her when she disembarked and saw the white stone walls and tall steeples. She was about to ask the way to Ithan's house, but somehow her feet just kept moving, and she mechanically let an inner power guide her. Ithan? Good. Finally her memories came back to her. She is. Ethan. She's Ithan, what? And he's Vyth. Oh, wow. Okay. So Vythar didn't die, he just didn't go to the dragons. In the story that he's changed. Plenty of time to talk. There you go then. Sorry, I've got a bit of an itchy an itch in my ear. I shouldn't be doing that on camera. What did you get? And that river, I suppose that's a younger you. No. Oh, we just happen to look alike, perhaps. You've no idea what they look like. So shh. you wouldn't like it. This is Oh, I bet. Keep reading, Sarah. You're ruining the atmosphere. Yeah, come on. The end. It's a game by Peter Lundqvist. Lundqvist? I don't pronounce Swedish names very well. With Screen 7, music by Lana Neely, etc, etc. Most important thing to let you know is, guys, that's the game. That is the game finished. I hope you've enjoyed watching this game. Sorry, I just need to fix something. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching the game. And I will uh, finish up for now, obviously, because we're done. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, keep an eye on my Twitter page. It's twitter.com slash supernotice uh, to find out when I'm going live next. Uh, and also, obviously, I have other videos that I'm uploading on YouTube. If you are interested in seeing what I'm doing on YouTube, you can head over to uh, YouTube. Search for Supernotice Streams. 
uh, and there you'll find all my previous streams uh, as well as some other videos that I've done uh, mostly with retro games and things like that uh, if you are enjoying anything you're watching on YouTube please feel free to hit that like button maybe drop a subscription and uh, hit that notification bell for more notifications uh, and also on Mixer at uh, mixer.com slash supernotice uh, there you'll be able to watch my live streams when they are live and if you are doing that please feel free to hit that follow button too if you like uh, for now though guys thank you very much for tuning in and we'll be back with something else no doubt very soon for you for now though thank you very much and i'll see you all again next time good night eventually because